Fortnite blew up. Everyone knows this. If you say you don't, you're lying. Quit trying to be a cunt who says they don't follow the latest trends because the odds are that if you're watching this video, you've played the keyboard smashing game. And I, of course, won't deny I've played it and I did have fun at one point. I've uploaded it or I've uploaded videos here on the channel about Fortnite and I highly recommend you do not watch them. They are garbage because, to be honest, I was clout chasing like Kim Kardashian. The game has become something that I don't care to really play, so yeah. It's, uh, it's way too sweaty and the skill gap between an average player and a really good player is just insane. However, there is a lot of methods Fortnite does right when it comes to the game. They do it so impressively correct that I believe 343 Industries should in fact consider some of their methods. And before you jump the gun and think I want some Halo Battle Royale, relax. I'm not looking for 343 to become the next sellouts and chase the latest fad or trend. I'm saying that a lot of things Epic Games does would benefit Halo Infinite if they mimicked it to a certain extent. One of the biggest things that Halo should follow Fortnite's steps in is post-launch content. Now before I jump into this, I think it should be said that the reason Fortnite can pump out good and bad updates alike so often is because they are what they refer to as the beta stage, which basically gives you a pass to say fuck you to the people who make you actually test the update before rolling it out. With that being said, I think Halo would benefit greatly from producing regular good content. None of, none of the recycled bullshit that Halo 5 did. I don't want it to seem like Halo 5 didn't add good content post launch because it did, but let's be real. Nothing really stood out. Nothing that we could actually obtain without absurd amounts of grinding or RNG. Fortnite adds weapons and skins constantly. Sometimes it brings skins and other cosmetics back to their shop. Why can't Halo come up with a system like this? Something like a shop where they get skins and stuff. It doesn't have to be an exact copy of the system, but they could easily make new web, uh, make new skins. They could add weapons every so often to the game. I mean, even Call of Duty does that. Like, As long as they don't add microtransactions that are hidden behind the paywall, then all will be safe in the Halo world. Nobody wants to get packs or loot boxes or crates or any bullshit they try to pass as fun RNG elements of the game because it's just straight bullshit. The only way that works is in Warzone, and that's the only exception. Warzone is a great and fun game mode, however, it lacked one key crucial element. It didn't have enough updates. Yes, they added things to Warzone, but it honestly wasn't enough. Did it make everyone happy? Yeah, for a short amount of time. Warzone is such a grindy game mode and you constantly feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. Wanna know why? Cause you literally are and I know Warzone is big game type. It supports not only players but AI bots as well. But let's be real here man, Warzone is a lot like having a girlfriend or wife. Sure you get to smash and stuff on the regular, but it's the same thing every time. It was fun in the beginning but you know it gets repetitive. And you always want to mix it up, maybe add a little rocky road every once in a while, if you get what I'm saying. I don't expect them to bring weekly updates to Warzone, but wouldn't a new boss every once in a while be nice? You know, a new objective, some new vehicles, you know, not just spin-offs of other types of the vehicle. There's a ton of options to choose from here. And it's, it's not just that Warzone needs this, the game in a whole needs to be heavily updated quite often. I'm not asking for a brand new weapon every week, but can't we get a new one once every quarter of the year? Is it really that difficult to add a new weapon that's balanced every 3 to 4 months? Sure, we get regular game modes and updates like that and things like that, but that only gets you so far. Especially with how 343 likes to conduct their game types. The rotation of game types is disgusting if I'm being honest, at least in Halo 5. The thing that I loved about previous games like Halo Reach and Halo 3 was the amount of game types you could search from. From Rumble Pit to Action Sack, from Team Slayer to Multi-Team. 
those were fun. You had a large variety. The game types I see on Halo 5 are always the same old boring and rotated and recycled game types. Half of the cool game types are in a freaking sweaty are in sweaty rank. That sucks. That's awful. Wanting to play Breakout but being forced to play with kids who are trying to become the next ninja? That's it sucks. You shouldn't be forced to have to choose between sweaty fake casuals and sweaty tryhard ranked players. This game mode would be super fun and casual. It's personally my favorite game type in Halo 5. My point is that if they keep the game type formula sim similar to Halo 5's, then they need to have a weekly game type update and have actual fun game types that casuals can, can enjoy fairly well. Games are ran by the casual players. They are the ones who come in swarms with friends to play games they like. If they get constantly shit on and the game modes are repetitive and unfun, well then you're going to miss out on a large amount of players. Casual players enjoy making their character look badass. Everyone in Halo Reach wanted their Spartan to be awesome looking with effects on them, colored visors, large armor, armor color selections, and other cool customization options. This leaves the door open for updates that deal with cosmetics and happen frequently and have new selections to choose from. Alongside having cosmetics and cool player customization, the game is hit with fre frequent and enjoyable content such as game types, bosses, rewards, and more. That to me sounds like a very fun and exciting Halo game if you ask me. And the point I'm trying to get across in this video, if you haven't already got it yet because you have an anal bead for a brain, is that games have evolved. Players expect regular and meaningful content added to the game quite frequently. Halo 5 we get to play Capture the Flag Castle Wars. Oh that's so fun. They don't want recycled content that is filtered through constantly and has content that feels dull and boring. People want a game that they can come back to and feel a sense of enjoyment from something new. They don't want the same boring game types. They don't want the same armor that everyone else might have. And not only that, they don't want to have to basically buy packs to unlock the armor. And like I said, not all cosmetics have to be purchasable. I know plenty of people, including myself, who grind for pieces of in-game content if they prove to be cool enough. The Achilles helmet from Halo 5 is really, really cool. But it's the biggest grind ever, along with the Inheritor helmet from Halo Reach. These are really cool things to obtain. But we need kind of like a middle ground. In Reach, they had the flaming helmets for Bungie employees, and I believe those who pre-ordered the game got access to it alongside a special elite armor set. Things like that are what set players apart. We could get things that are like meet a middle ground to where you have to grind a bit, but you can't just unlock it overnight. And that's what people like. Players wouldn't mind reaching into their wa wallets either for armor sets that are only like 2 to $5, as long as they come with skins and stuff as well. They wouldn't mind buying weapon skins and armor effects to go alongside them. And hell, they could even make battle passes for all I care, as long as the price isn't ridiculously stupid and they make really cool things put into it. As long as Halo Infinite can receive speedy, good quality updates, the game's life cycle could quite possibly be the best Halo game we've seen in a long time. And when I say that, I'm talking about golden era Halo that people talk about. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me, let me know what you guys think and your opinions down below. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell notification to get my latest video. Till next time, peace out, my dudes.